things you need for the dream that God has given to you. Number one, are you ready for this? Number one, you need a hammer. You need this tool. Put it up. You need this tool to hammer through all the obstacles, all the rubbles that has been standing between you and what God has laid on your heart to do with your life. You need to be breaking things down. God, God, God says to Jeremiah, God says to Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29. Look at it with me. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. We're going to do a lot of Bible study this morning. It, it says, it is not my word. It's not my word like fire. Declares the Lord. And like a what? Like a hammer which shatters a rock. In other words, there's nothing that stands in your way that can be moved or hammered out by this book. The Word of God. The next two weeks, we're going to see the rubbles. We're going to see the rubbles. We're going to see the rubbles that, 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 and the obstacles that we are up against as a church. And, and you're going to see some rubbles and obstacles in your life that you are up against too. See, see for some of you, you're going to need, you're going to need this thing for your business. You're going to need this thing for your business. See, the principles that I'm going to be teaching you throughout this series, it's not going to be just for the church. You're going to learn some principles that you can use in your relationship as well. See, that you can apply to it. How many of you have things you need to hammer out with people around you in your life? Don't raise up your hands because, you know, they may be sitting beside you right now. <laughs> lest, lest the hammer start dropping even before you think it, it's going to start sooner than you expect. You need a hammer to begin to clear those obstacles and those... I wish we have a drywall person here and they will tell you what they use hammer for. Let, let, me let, me, let me give you the second tool you're going to need. Here's the second tool you're going to need. Number two, put it up. Number two, you're going to need a blueprint or a manual or a vision. Everybody say vision. How many here love reading manuals? <laughs> I see some of you are just people after my own heart. Captain is saying, no, not me. I, have you ever picked up one of these manuals that, 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 that you know, it's, it's for electronics? And, and, and in that manual, you have to read through the manual in order to get every part of the electronic to start working? And, and I'm thinking... Why didn't you put all the parts together for me when I opened that box and now I have to go through this headache? See, my problem is I can't seem to figure out what some of these manuals are talking about. Uh, they might have, as well have written it in Latin. That's what it is to me. When, when we bought our DVD player, I thought I'd set it up. I said, oh, I'm going to set it up. Nobody's doing it. I'm going to do it. So, so I didn't have a clue what the, the, the owner's manual was saying, but I decided I could do that thing on my own with my own wisdom and my own ingenuity. Who needs an owner's manual? After all, I thought, okay, I have my doctorate. I'm a doctor. So, so I got to be. I, 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 I'm, I'm smart enough to figure out how to connect a DVD player to a TV and to all the other accessories. If you go to my house, you'll see the box, the Xbox, the play box, and everything. About an hour later, Adam walked into the family room. Saw I was mumbling some few choices words underneath my breath, and he said. 
Dad, he picked up the manual. Two minutes later, the DVD was connected to the TV like that. See, my problem is, I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience to read this manual. I just want to put things together like now and get it done with. But how many of you know you cannot circumvent the owner's manual? <laughs> doctor or no doctor, huh? doctorate or no doctorate, the DVD maker knew more about connecting DVD than I do. In the same way, church, we have a life manual. <laughs> we have a manual for life and for what we are to be about as a church. And the manual is called the B-I-B-L-E. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, the Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, put it up. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. God has given to us hmm, everything. Some things, few things. Everybody say everything. He said, God has granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness <laughs> through the true knowledge of him, through the true knowledge of this word, because this word is Jesus. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh. See, 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 see. What am I saying? I'm saying, if you want to know how to build a great family, it's in this book. <laughs> if you want to know how to build a great marriage, it's in here too. If you want to know how to succeed in your business, uh, how many business people do we have here? Let me see your hands. Okay, I see two, three hands. All right, four hands. Okay. I know Donald Trump and Tony Robbins are good motivational speakers and all that. But they ain't nothing like this book. Can, can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? In fact, let me tell you a secret. Everything all these gurus are selling to you and asking you to buy and asking you to listen to, they stole from this book. Because there's nothing new <laughs> under the sun. How I many of you know the sun? See, 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 when you are weak, you are weak and you don't have the get up to go anymore. You pick this book up. <laughs> oh, it's a bad enemy to my soul. I hear you, Joshua. Be strong and courageous and do not let the word of scripture depart from your mind. Oh, 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 when you're lost and you can't find your way back, here is your guide. O B I B L E. That's the book for me. <laughs> Hello, somebody. All the vision you need, including the vision that this church needs to write on, are here in this book. And if it ain't in this book, if the vision that God is calling you to have for your life doesn't match with what is in here, and the vision that God is calling Wellman to be about in the next five years is not what is in this book, then it ain't God's vision. Are you following me? During this series, we're going to see why it's important for us to be the people of the word. You've got to be the people of the word. And I thank God that Wilma is such. A, here, here, here's the third tool you need to build. Here's the third tool. T turn to your neighbor and say, I need to get me some protection. T 
tell your neighbor, I need to get me some protection. I, I mean, you need to get yourself one of these, babe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you, Paul. Paul, what do you say? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Paul says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Not a, a, against the, the, the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Oh, you missed it. Did you count how many times the word against counted? Count how many times the word against shows up in this verse alone. Five times. No wonder, as we will see later on in the series on Nehemiah, that Nehemiah kept facing all this against and against and against coming after him. You know why? As Dr. Warren Wisby once said, if you start building, oh, put it the third one up, third one, go to the third one. You're doing good. Third one. If you start building, you will soon, put the life on. If you start building, it says you will soon be battling. So be prepared. Let me read that for you again. If you start building, you will soon be battling. So be prepared. Because the moment you start doing something God honoring for your life, Guess what? The devil ain't going to be happy. Okay. You wait to hear in Nehemiah the message on overcoming discouragement. Or the message on, on, on an inside job. You look at all the list of the messages in the back of your bulletin. Or come and listen to the message on mass, weapon of mass distraction. See, the enemy wants to keep you still in your misery and defeat. So if you say you want to take your life back and be everything that God wants you to be, guess what? The enemy is going to fight you hard because he's not going to let you go easily. Is there anyone in here who knows what I'm talking about? But you, my brother, you, my sister, you don't have to worry because you are covered. You are protected because if God be for you, I say if God be for you, who? Church, who? Who is there to come against you? Talk, talk, talk to your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, where are they? Where are they? Ask your neighbor, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? See, see, the Bible says to tell you in Ephesians chapter 6, you haven't done everything. Stand firm. Put on the helmet of salvation for your protection. Somebody shout, I need some protection. I need some protection for what God is going to call me to do in the next decade of my life. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, this is good. I know I'm speaking to somebody right now, and you've got to hear this very clearly. There's a way to build what God is calling you to build without hurting yourself. Woo! Let me repeat that again, because that is worth your price of admissions. There's a way to build what God is calling you to build without hurting yourself in the process. How many of you know you can go out and start building what God wants you to build and you can hurt yourself in the process? How many people have set out to, 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 to be a big businessman and, and a businesswoman and do all these things and then before you know it, they lose their family? Woo! I wish I had more time. But I'll, I'll bring that back on my message. But the way to protect yourself, the way to protect